phone call. What is it, Mr. President? Oh, and yeah, hi, this is Gray Shot 117, Mission 3. Technically two, but now three of Soviet assault of world and conflict. It appears Enjoy. The Russian troops have managed to sneak into port using disguised cargo ships. Let me get this clear. You're saying that we have Soviet soldiers on American soil, General? That we've been invaded? Yes, sir. It seems more are coming in. Uh, we have precious few units in the area, and they're putting up what resistance they can. My God. What are our options? They're rather limited, sir. If we start pulling divisions back from Europe, we'll lose what control do we... I know. I know. But don't we have anything to defend our own country with? I've ordered what units that we have to go west, sir. Who's leading them? A Colonel Sawyer, sir. He's as tough as they come. Well, he better be. Assemble the staff. Situation room, 20 minutes. Very well, Mr. President. I mean, like, getting a call like that would be like... No, it would be like September 11th. Worse, because it's not 2,000 people dying, it's an entire week. It's an entire state. It's not two buildings. It's possibly the West Coast. It seem that way because we were all running in the same direction. Seattle was lost the moment those ships entered the harbor. And there was never any real chance of our holding the city. I try not to think about all those we were forced to leave behind. Captain Bannon kept us in a semblance of order, but I'll never know whether we were actually obeying his commands or they just happened to coincide with what we all thought best. We followed the freeway into the suburbs with the war close on our heels. Some artillery had already landed in the area and I remember seeing a broken swing set lying on its side next to a blackened crater. I think that was when it hit me. We had been invaded and nothing would ever be the same again. I'm curious how many civilians would actually get out of the area and actually how Russians would treat civilians. Um, anytime there's an occupying force, of course, there's going to be turmoil, but, like, what would that mean for people stuck inside? Would they be put in camps? Would they be just laying in their homes and then provided food packages? What kind of order in society would there be? Um, interesting. I, I don't think this game goes from really those questions. I don't think. No, it, uh, I think it a little bit, um, but not all that much. Oh my god, and if you walk, if you literally like rode your bike and saw that, you would like, I'm pedaling in the fastest direction in the opposite direction from that. Wow, that's a lot of people. They better get a move on or the commies will pound them to pieces. I guess it's on us to protect them, damn civvies. Really? You're Wonder complaining what about him? Sawyer will get here. We need the reinforcements, but I could do without him. Continue toward the bridgehead, Parker. They're just trying to hold the line, that's all. I mean, they're just trying to get out of harm's way. You can't really blame them. Some get of them, the like the police the officers before, Won't are trying be to fight, but... Get here. What, what are they going to do against... And by the way, I'm assuming... I'm assuming... I, I do not know military code, but I'm going to assume... That if a uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll do. Yes. Engine is running. Right. Rolling out. Ready to repair. Driving quickly. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I'm going to assume that if a pair, if you're a paratrooper division, as we can see all around. Get a move on, Parker. We need to get these positions up ASAP. Looks like the commies have caught up with us, people. Some Russian scouts have been spotted not far from here. Oh, by the way, Nothing what a conflict has yet, a, uh, a, ma 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 the yeah, a map maker where you can actually add all this stuff in, like the fire and everything coming through. It's really, really cool in that way. God damn it! They're here already! Return fire! And remember, we don't have any reinforcements to call on, Parker! Squad available. On our way, sir. I think that's a... Yeah, that's normal infantry. It comes with one eight anti-air unit... Uh, one anti air rocket launcher and a normal rocket launcher Parker, and then the two Russians other ones are just normal rocket launchers from here. now they're putting them on school buses we have to get to them before the commies take them away all we're right yeah very very powerful very powerful hey, infantry all right let's move up all right no one's taking our civvies to school. Only the That's American the government Parker, can do that. Kill all of them so we can get those civvies out of there. 
you want to take them to school against your will, against their will, sorry, we do that. Alright, good, nice. Stationary defenses, that should hold. Heal my Bradleys in the meantime. Good job, Parker. At least you can do something, right? Is this a Bradley? No. Maybe I'm thinking of something Eagle else. Eagle six to Captain Bannon. Give me a sit rep. Bannon here. We're engaged at the bridge, and we're trying to get a bunch of civilians out of the area before the Russians come in force. Come in, Parker. Russian infantry has been sighted near a house belonging to General Levinson. I just talked to him. His family is still there, and they must be evacuated before it's too late. Oh no. I wonder where those bastards got his address. Uh, probably spies. I mean, if, if I had to assume, and by the way, the, I would highly recommend watching this show called Americans, um, but most likely there are probably spies from the Soviet Union in the United States. There's probably still Russian spies in the United States, to be completely honest, and maybe some other spies from every other country, but uh, I'm assuming they probably got intel that way. I'm assuming. <laughs> How did I miss? Right, let's make sure they don't die. Like I said, that infantry is amazing at just killing armor. Let's get these people out. Anytime cutscene. Come on, there we go. Anton, come on, move! Get them out of there! Get them out of there now! Move! Come on! Hurry! Hurry! There's no time! Wait up! <laughs> Binky on the ground. And a troll doll. By the way, when when I played Good. this, I out. had no idea what I'll the thing the was. Know that his family is safe. Now, see to the rest of the evacuees. Yes, Understood, Captain. Get those civvies across. We're moving into the area now, and I can call in some fire support for you. Perfect. Roger that, sir. Parker, we have to hold the bridgehead while the buses move across. Don't let any Russians through. Come on, get inside. There we go. Full speed. Okay, people, this is how we'll do it. Parker, you deal with the ground forces as best you can. Bannon, if you see any units that Parker can't handle, radio their position to me, and I'll relay it to the artillery. Right. The school buses carrying the evacuees have started moving across the bridge, Colonel. Oh, Good. there they are. Don't let the Russians through. They're using helicopters to drop troops on our side, but we'll make sure the road is clear. Eagle 6, out. Not now, sir. Your orders. Well, there goes the idea about putting a sign in. Oh, yay, support. Yeah, in this game, of course, they all come in via those uh, jump jets. I'm airlifting Are they jump jets? I, I don't know. Parker. Transport. Make good use of them. I have infantry in the woods to the north. I reach you, Captain. Target marked. There we go. Parker, Ivan is sending a large amphibious force across the lake. Be prepared. Watch that 
enjoy toes. Oh, that was close. You're doing good, everyone. The buses are almost across. Oh my god, that's awesome. I mean, they're dying, but they're holding. Message received. Good call, Captain. on killing Russians. We've handled the first wave, but there will be more coming. Meet me near the bridgehead in 10. Oh. Okay. Good job, everybody. <laughs> Here he comes. Lieutenant Parker. Good to see you alive. Captain like I said, you never see Parker. <laughs> Seems that way, Colonel. Well, from what I gathered, you did a decent job in organizing the retreat, but I'm prepared to let bygones be bygones. <laughs> Screw up again, though, and you'll pay. I won't, Colonel. We'll see. This is Captain James Webb, and this is First Lieutenant Parker and Captain Bannon. They fought with me in Europe. Hey, it was tough going over there. Sorry I missed it. <laughs> you shouldn't be. We need to see about blowing that bridge so the Russians don't roll over it. Get back to your unit. We'll take it from there. You there! What's your unit? Washington National Guard, sir. We don't matter. I need an orderly and you're in. Get your stuff. We're moving. Come on, man. Now, soldier. Okay. Bandit, what the hell were you thinking fortifying that position? It, what, what did sir, I... Sir, it was Parker who... Okay, whatever. Never mind. We can use a forward position there to delay the Soviet main force when it arrives. That would be the perfect job for you and your tanks, Bannon. Get over there now. Yes, sir. Bannon out. Alright, can I do something? Webb and Parker, Ivan's gonna come down that freeway like a cannonball on fire, and we have to delay him long enough for the bridge to be blown. If we let his heavy armor get across, the entire state will fall before we know it. Understood? Affirmative, sir. Come on, Parker. We'll dig in on the other side. Parker, I'm leaving some of our reserves to you. Call in what reinforcements you need. Okay. Let's see. Um, this infantry's awesome, and we'll Good grab going, two of these. Parker. Now get those shovels out. This is Eagle Six. It looks like we're going to be here for a while. I've contacted the Air Force to see if they can help us blow the bridge, but they oh, failed that's not to good. respond so far. Sir, can't we just leave that bridge and get out of here? If we do, Washington State is lost, Bannon. I thought I made that clear. You are to hold until told otherwise, Captain. Understood, sir. Your reinforcements are on the way, Parker. They'll be landing shortly. Stay clear of the area. Lieutenant Parker. We have to do something about those Soviet helicopters. I just got a line on some out-of-service anti-air batteries in the area. If you could fix them up, we might get rid of those choppers once and for all. Get moving to that perimeter. Give us your order. All right, I'm going to make a cannonball maneuver. run to that area. This is Eagle 6. Good job. Now hold them back while I see about getting that bridge below sea level. No, no, no. Alright, the faster I get that AA up, the, the less helicopters I have to deal with. We finally got some air defenses up. See if you can fix the rest of them, Parker. This is Bannon! How long are we supposed to stay here by ourselves? Until I say so, Captain. You should be happy to be here considering what you have to answer for. Now focus on killing the enemy. <laughs> Affirmative, sir! Bannon out! He sounds really happy. Tommies are so damn fast! 
They must have dropped airborne units all over the city. Good to see those AA guns back in action, Lieutenant. Right, let's bring this back around and start killing yes, our stuff. We'll up, because, sir. man, do I need it. <laughs> oh, this is bad. We'll be cut off if we stay here much longer. Can't we drop that bridge now? I'm seeing to that, Captain. Now stay in place and calm down. Our air defenses are fully functional again, and Ivan has ceased sending his choppers into the area. Oh, thank God. All oh, thanks to you, Parker. Excellent job. You're the man, Parker. I got an M60 tank attached to my company, but you probably need it more than we do. I'll tell those men you're in command instead of me. Oh, thank Christ. Run. <laughs> oh. Like they're cutting us some slack, Parker. But stay focused. I bet more of them are coming our way. Parker, the local hospital hasn't been evacuated yet, and Ivan is closing in. Get over there and set up a perimeter while they finish the evacuation. Webb will have to hold the bridgehead by himself in the meantime. Awesome, that's free, and I'll get Not some problem, more Colonel. of that awesome anti-inf... I mean, the, um, this, uh, the pretty much the AT units. Hurry up, Parker. They need your help. A lot of civilians won't get out of the city in time. I think those civvies are in for some rough times, Colonel. Yeah. We must try to evacuate as many as possible. Transport somewhere, sir. Everyone Engine is running, sir. Ready for On our way, sir. Moving out. AT's entering transport. Parker, Ivan is dropping airborne troops at several different locations, but our scouts have pinpointed their rally points. Put some shells on those targets, Lieutenant. Russian airborne infantry spotted, Parker. They've dropped behind our position. Use artillery or whatever you have, Parker, but make sure Ivan doesn't get organized or will be hard put to defend this bridge. Squad of Going into the build, securing building, sir. Entering building. You got him running, Parker. Move on to the next target. Ready for entering building. This vehicle is ready. We are ready. Tracks are moving. Bradley APC here, striving two coordinates. All right, that should be enough. For your protection, driving, sir, sir. Sheridan driving two coordinates. Good. The evacuation is underway. Secure the position and hold until it's complete. All right. So there are three more positions I have to take out. Plus, I'm fortifying, and then I have 18 houses. Plus force. Feel pretty good. And from this one. I'm just gonna keep doing it as I get it because of the fact that as you can see there's no bonus in saving it. That's another rally point they won't be gathering at. Well done, Lieutenant. Okay. Enemy defeated, sir. Bang on target, Parker. Good job. Good job, Lieutenant. Nice little helicopters back here. Some precious time. It'll take hours before those airborne troops get organized. What? I don't care. I, I just don't care. They've got one of your units. We need quarters. Build up with armor. Not many left, Parker. You're doing well. Oh, okay, not too bad. That was the last 
rest of them. Well done, Lieutenant. Eagle Six! Eagle Six! We're under heavy attack! I got commies all over the place! Looks like the whole Soviet army needs backup now! Calm down, Captain. Parker will call in fire support for you. Stay in place, and he'll help you deal Parker with the will. attack. Oh, yeah, I do. That, right. Sir. Parker, Webb will take temporary command of your forces while you focus on using all available fire support to halt Ivan's attack. The Air Force will bomb the bridge, but we have to hold until they get here. Oh, I messed up that one. But everything in this area is going to be destroyed. Hell yeah! Take that, you commie bastards! On target, Lieutenant. Keep it coming. All right, so far pretty good. Okay, so yeah, don't note the self. Do not call an artillery within, uh, well, close range. Everything. That's what I want to see, Parker. Scorched Earth. This is insane! We have to fall back faster! There are thousands of civilians behind us trying to get away. If we fall back now, they're gonna get caught in the fight. Do you want that to happen? But there's too many of them! I'm holding. you faced worse odds before, haven't you? He's right, Bannon. Now pull yourself together. Enemy units in the I, area are I will, Colonel! All right, they're holding, they're holding. Mostly. Excellent, Parker. We've denied Ivan a lot of important resources. Second platoon has made it across. I'm sending third now. Come on. That was close. Oh, okay. Cool. Fire all the artillery. All the artillery. <laughs> well. 
That should delay them. That's gonna take a while to rebuild. And that's a 90s or well, 80s thing. The troll on his shoulder. <laughs> What's that thing? This, my friend, Guardians is a of the portable galaxy. CD player. Oh portable, my god. Yeah. Really? Huh? What's the sound yeah, like? This is 89, I'll so this is 26 years ago. Dead. I wish I could find some new wow. ones. Wow. Watch out! Stow away that toy, soldier! But it's from my daughter, sir! Go! Really? He ran over a car to tell him about the troll that's hanging off his Stow thing? Really? <laughs> Let's see if we can get a ride back to the rallying point. Yeah, I need to Don't get back you. to HQ. Well, whatever. Yay, we won. And Bronze Star. I'll take it. Overall, the secondary objectives were complete. So good, good. So, yeah, we may be losing the area, but at least we're delaying their advance. And it's probably going to take some time for them to either rebuild a bridge or figure out a way to transport armor across that area. So, good, good, good. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tune in next time where it's part four. I think that's a Soviet one. I think. I could be wrong. I, I probably am wrong. Um, but anyway, I'll catch you next time.